welcome to Stories Podcast. I'm your host, Amanda Weldon. Today's story is called One Big Mitten, an adaptation of a classic Ukrainian folktale written for you by Daniel Hines. Thanks. Enjoy the episode. One Big Mitten Once upon a time, deep, deep in a forest, there was a terrible winter. It snowed enough to bury a porch. It was cold enough to freeze the tears on your cheeks, and the wind blew sharp and frigid like the teeth of some howling beast. Even the old grandfathers, who loved to talk about how much harder it was in their day, were forced to admit that it was a winter for the ages. Still, a little boy named Olik wanted to go out and play. Baba? he said, which is what he called his grandmother. I want to go and have a snowball fight with Misha. Can I please go? It's too cold out for snowball fights, Baba said. Stay inside and color or play a game with Gigi. Gigi was Oleg's grandfather. He let out a long (sighs) snore from his chair by the fire, and Baba sighed. Okay, okay, you can go out with Misha. Yes, said Olek, climbing into his snow gear. He had snow pants and boots and a heavy coat and a hat and a scarf. Don't forget your new mittens, said Baba. She pulled out a beautiful pair of bright red mittens she had just finished knitting that morning. And don't stay out too long. Okay, Baba, thank you, Olek shouted. He ran out the door and found Misha waiting in the woods. They each picked a tree to be their fort and battled back and forth with snowballs until their smiles were frozen and they couldn't take the cold another minute. Promising to meet again tomorrow, they waved goodbye and each headed home. Baba, I'm back, Olek said as he walked through the door and shook off his snow gear. Come in, I've got some warm soup on she said. But wait, where is your mitten? Olek looked down and found that he was missing one of his new red mittens. He had taken it off to get a better grip when throwing snowballs and forgotten to put it back on. Oh, I left it in the woods, he said miserably. I'm sorry, Baba. I'll go back and get it. Baba just sighed. No, no, it's too cold out now. We can go and look for it tomorrow. Now come and have some soup. Okay, Baba, Olek said, but he thought about his bright red mitten out there in the snow and the trees and wondered what would happen to it. As he was wondering and eating his soup, a little mouse named Mary was shaking and shivering her way through the forest. Her slender burrow had frozen over with ice and her tiny paws were too cold to dig back in. The wind was whipping her this way and that, and she was starting to be sure that she'd freeze into a little mouse popsicle before she found someplace warm. I hate the snow! I hate the snow! Mary Mouse chanted to herself, trudging one little step at a time. I hate the snow! I hate the... Oh! What's this? She came upon a bright red mitten lying forgotten on the forest floor. She peeked in and found it empty and fuzzy inside. It's perfect, Mary said, making her way into the cozy cavern. It was tight and warm and just what she needed. In short order, she was snuggled in and ready to take a nice long nap. Then from outside, she heard a ribbit, ribbit. It was followed by a wet sounding hop, hop, hop. Suddenly, there was a wide, warty face leaning into the bright red mitten. Hello, said Friendly Frog. Is there anyone in here? Just me, Mary Mouse, Mary said. Oh, uh, do you have room for one more? It's so cold out here that my pod froze over. Well, of course, said Mary. I'm tiny and you aren't much bigger. Plenty of room. Just hop on in. Thanks, said Friendly Frog. He hopped into the mitten and nestled himself in right next to Mary. 
With both of them inside, the little mitten got even warmer, and they were snuggled up and happy. As they were talking and catching up, they heard a soft thick thick thweep, and then the whoop shump whoop of a big foot pounding on the ground. A moment later, a wiggling nose and two long floppy ears pushed into the mitten. Hey, 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 said Rosie Rabbit. It's so cold out here, I'm freezing my ears off. She was as white as snow, with a twitching pink nose and two giant feet for running and hopping. Any chance you have room for one more? If you can squeeze in, said Mary Mouse. More the barrier, said Friendly Frog. Yay, thank you, said Rosie Rabbit, and then she wiggled herself in. It took a little twisting and turning, but she finally managed to nestle herself in the middle of the mitten, right next to Friendly and Mary. The mitten was stretching out now, but Baba's knitting was expertly done and the glove held strong. With all three of them inside, the bright red mitten was even warmer, and now the three friends were no longer shaking and shivering as they chatted. Of course, they were soon interrupted by a sneering snout poking into the open mitten. Ah, uh, who's in here? said Fancy Fox, pushing in to peer with her amber eyes. I need someplace warm to sleep. My whiskers are about to snap like icicles. Well, we can share, but no eating anyone, okay? said Rosie Rabbit, who had done her share of running from foxes. Oh, I promise, said Fancy Fox. I just don't want to turn into a foxicle, you know? <laughs> Okay, then. Come on in, if you can fit, said Mary Mouse. I'll make some room, said Friendly Frog. Watch my ears, said Rosy Rabbit. It took some scrunching and bunching and tugging and snugging, but the chilly fox managed to squeeze herself into the mitten with the others. The knitting was stretched and the mitten was large and lumpy, but she managed to get herself inside. With Fancy Fox in there, the mitten was extra warm and cozy. True to her word, she didn't try to eat anyone and was happy just to finally be warm and out of the endless, windy winter. They passed a pleasant hour chatting and thawing out, but then, from outside, they heard a shockingly loud roar, followed by some snuff, snuff, grumble, snuff. It's a monster, squeaked Mary Mouse. What do we do? croaked Friendly Frog. Hey, guys, said Buddy Bear, jamming his big round head into the stretching glove. Wow, lots of friends in here. Did you guys know that it's, like, really cold outside? My cave froze over, and I'm looking for a place to stay warm for a while. <laughs> oh, hey there, Buddy, said Rosie Rabbit. Wow, a fox and a rabbit and a mouse and a frog. Seems like a real swell setup you got here. Uh, do you mind if I join you to keep cozy? We're pretty much at capacity here, bud, said Fancy Fox. Great, I think there's room for one more, said Buddy Bear. Make some room, little guys. Buddy is coming on in. Cannonball! The big bear barreled his way into the mitten. The other animals made as much room as they could, and the knitting creaked and friendly croaked, and the mitten stretched and stretched and stretched until it was as big as a boulder. Amazingly, Baba's handiwork held, and the bear joined the others inside. This is pretty comfy. Thanks for letting me in, gang. <laughs> no problem, squeaked Mary Mouse, all smushed in the mitten but at least she was feeling warm. After a lot of giggling and wiggling and tossing and turning, Merry Mouse and Friendly Frog and Rosy Rabbit and Fancy Fox and Buddy Bear all fell asleep. They slept heavily all through the night, snoring five different snores, all cramped but cozy. The next morning, while they were all still sleeping, a little golden bird came fluttering down from the trees. She had spent the night freezing in a thin nest and was overjoyed when she saw the mitten, now a giant red ball, looking warm and soft as anything. Well, hello, 
she chirped, flying down. Is there anyone home? She leaned in and heard all the snoring, none louder than Buddy Bear's great woofing, Look at them all so snuggled up, she said to herself. I'm sure they won't mind just one more. She flitted into the mitten and landed right on Buddy's big brown nose. His fur was warm and softer than any nest, and she settled right in to have herself a little nap. Unfortunately, one of her long golden feathers drooped down the bear's snout and tickled at his nose. It wiggled this way and that way and tickled, tickled, tickled until finally... Achoo! sneezed Buddy Bear. It was a humongous sneeze, one for the ages, and it was the final stretch needed to send that mitten flying apart. Out tumbled the bird and Buddy Bear, Fancy Fox and Rosy Rabbit popped into the air, and Friendly Frog and Merry Mouse shot out the back. When they all came to their senses, they came together over the shredded mitten. Well, uh, sorry, everyone, said Buddy. It's not your fault, said Mary. What are we going to do tonight? asked Fancy. We'll think of something, said Friendly. As they stood there, sadly, Olek and Baba watched from the path nearby. They had come to find Olek's missing mitten and had been shocked to see all of the animals using it to keep warm. Sorry about the mitten, Baba, Olek said. That's okay, we can make another, said Baba. In fact, I think we can make two. The rest of the day, Olek helped Baba knit and knit and knit. And then they went back to the forest. And that night, when the temperature dropped, the animals found a giant mitten, big enough to fit them all inside without stretching. They all tumbled in and spent that night and every night for the rest of the winter safe and warm and cozy. The End Thanks for listening.